Hello students. Uh, so in this uh, part of video, uh, we will study about energy dissipators, different types of energy dissipators. First of all, what, what are, what is the meaning of energy dissipators? Uh, what is the use of this energy dissipators? Uh, so simply, we can understand that uh, when water flow through the dam through spillway, <coughs> then uh, uh, water have some potential energy initially and uh, when flow through the spillway it can this uh, potential energy it convert into the uh, kinetic energy and this kinetic energy further we can decrease through these uh, energy dissipators the, these are the structures uh, so that uh, <coughs> the surface of the uh, the surface of the uh, dam structure or spillway structure uh, should not be damaged by the kinetic energy of the water so these energy dissipators are used at that uh, portion <coughs> so one by one uh, we can study here uh, first one is hydraulic first one is hydraulic apron type it is the classif classification of uh, hydraulic jump type of the <coughs> uh, energy dissipators so uh, right now uh, uh, here it is the spillway this is the heel portion this is the tall uh, toe portion of the spillway structure it, it is made up of a concrete concrete uh, material and uh, a spillway through which uh, water will be flow uh, in this uh, <coughs> downstream side and this is the apron you can see here this is the plain apron uh, made up of a concrete this conc this uh, portion this is structure is fully made up of concrete you can see here and uh, this is the water uh, water profile of the uh, in this uh, uh, apron in this uh, <coughs> uh, in this basin in the energy dissipator spillway so this is the hydraulic jump phenomenon you can see here and is and seal means it is the end part of the structure <coughs> So, it is the hydraulic apron type of uh, dissipator we will use. Second one is sloping type uh, apron, sloping apron type of uh, dissipator. So, same uh, these are the same things are there and uh, spillway is there. So, this portion from here to here it is a sloping apron you can see here and end seal is present there and this is the water profile of hydraulic jump so this phenomenon is known as hydraulic jump water profile so sloping apron is there so it is known as sloping apron type dissipators the second one which is the part of <coughs> which is the part of jet diffusion stilling basins it is a type of stilling, stilling type energy dissipators so <coughs> Same thing is uh, right here, is written here. Uh, dissipations, dissipations of kinetic energy generated at the base of a spillway is essentially for bringing the flow into downstream uh, river to the normal. So it is the it is must to carry the water from uh, upstream side to downstream. Uh, there will be some kinetic energy. There should be a kinetic energy there. So jet diffusion still basins. What is jet diffusion still basins? You can see the picture diagram. You can see the diagram of this uh, jet diffusion. So this is the concrete structure, and uh, this is the basin where water collect here and uh, <coughs> jump through the phenomenon of hydraulic jump. This is the cut off. This is the tow wall. This is the cut off wall and uh, one special arrangements are there uh, that is a deflector hood deflector hood. Uh, so this is the energy dissipated structures so energy get uh, diffused in this portion due to this uh, structure and so this is known as dead jet diffusion stilling basins this is the top water level means uh, in the tail portion maximum water level uh, will at that at that uh, level surface 
नेक्स्ट वन इज इंटरेक्टिंग जेट डिसिपेटर्स इंटरेक्टिंग जेट डिसिपेटर्स सो इन दिस डायग्राम दिस इज द प्लान ऑफ द सेक्शन this is the plan of interjecting jet uh, dissipator uh, you can see here water flow from this side to the this side this is the apron you have seen and last uh, topic this is the apron made up of uh, all this structure made up of uh, concrete only and uh, this is the dissipators these are the dissipators this is the plan top view of the structure and uh, these are the splitter these are the split which can split the water into uh, various parts so energy get diffused energy get dissipate at that due to these structures so splitters are there you can see in the cross section these are the sloping these these will be provided these can be provided in the sloping form having some slope here <clears throat> next one is free jet stilling basins so what is the free jet stilling basin stilling basins are there uh, the same phenomenon is there water comes into the downstream side uh, from these discharge guide gates means uh, operating systems are there uh, gates will uh, gates should be pro gates are provided uh to regulate the water flow and uh, walls are also there so the this uh, <coughs> apron should be in the slope of 3s to 3 ratio 1 and uh, same ratio same slope should be provided at the downstream side after hydraulic jump phenomenon and the this uh, why uh, we can say that this is a free jet uh, stilling so you can see here that uh, profile of the water is such that like a jet so this is known as trajectory based on maximum jet velocity this is a trajectory and uh, basins are uh, basin is there and uh, maximum water level up to the tail is there and uh, we can see here that uh, after then uh, in spite of this free board is also available here so this is the free jet stilling basin next one is hump hump stilling basin what is the hump stilling uh, stilling basin so all those things are uh, there same uh, you have seen in last uh, types so this is the water uh, this is the water uh, Uh, flow through the uh, upstream side to downstream side and uh, the profile of the structure the hump hump uh, it is the hump like a uh, curve shape it is the vertical curve provided uh, in the structure uh, so there are three shapes uh, have been made uh, the first one is simple curve profile this portion to this portion and this is the hump trajectory this is the vertical vertical curve so and next one is up to the cut off wall rectangular stilling basins these are the storage uh, this should be these are provided for storage purpose and uh, for uh, energy dissipation then uh, what will be the energy uh, water level profile here and the wa maximum water level surface should be is that point and uh, this is the river bed uh, through which and, and this this water can be supplied uh, into the discharge channels last one is impact stilling basin impact stilling basin so for energy dissipations uh, baffle walls uh, must be provided here uh, at an angle of 75 degree with inclined means inclined baffle wall a baffle wall uh, is provided uh, to energy dissipation and this is the ground level same uh, all those phenomena phenomena all those profiles are same here except then baffle uh, wall uh, is providing uh, here so on other side 
देर आर सम बकेट टाइप ऑफ स्ट्रक्चर्स बकेट टाइप ऑफ एनर्जी डिस्ट्रीब्यूटर्स आर देयर वी विल स्टडी इन फर्दर नेक्स्ट वीडियो थैंक यू